Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I will show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, this is part 2 and do you want to watch part 1, go to my YouTube channel and go to click live and click watch this video, motion graphs in After Effects. So right now let's select this phone layer and let's press U for CK frames and go to here In this time let's make new passing chain frame and go to 10K frame, let's click here time duration and right here plus 10 for go to 10 k frame and let's move it down go to again 10 k frame I will use shortcut for this hold shift and press page down in the keyboard and let's move it up okay and go to 10 k frame again move it down okay nice and in this time let's select work area like this go to here press b in the keyboard and let's select work area like this let's see okay so let's select these shape frames and go to graph editor let's make smooth graph let's see okay and let's select this graph move to right let's animation okay and select this graph move to left and move to right okay nice so in this time back to keyframes and select this last keyframe move to right okay again back to graph editor and select this graph move to right nice let's back to chain frame select this last chain frame move to left a little bit okay let's go to here and in this time let's go to here and let's make size chain frame and roughness chain frame go to next chain frame change size like this and change roughness okay let's see okay let's animation okay we can select these size shape frames and move to right and this roughness shape frames also move to right let's see this result okay let's select this last part in shape frame move to the left for speed animation okay not bad so in this time let's go to here and go to 3k frame let's close motion blur and let's zoom to here okay I want to move it down a little bit this layer let's move it down like this okay so in this time let's go to 3k frame for this again use page down in the chamber one two three let's move to up go to again three key frame one two three select this first key frame copy pass control c let's see okay we have problem with last three key frames let's select these key frames only last three key frames right mouse go to key frame interpolation change color settings to linear click ok let's say again okay not bad so in this time let's go to here and select this phone yellow display no select this phone 2 and press u for ck frames okay and in this time make size key frame and go to here change size like this okay and let's go to here hold shift press p make new passing chain frame go to last shape frame and move up 
Let's move to up like this. Okay, select these two passing key frames, make easies, and let's see. Okay, select these last two key frames, move to right for slow animation, and go to graph editor. Let's make graphs like this. Okay, not bad. So back to shape frames and in this time select this phone yellow display press U for see shape frames and in this time let's make scale shape frame go to here and change scale like this and go to back let's hold shift press P make new passing shape frame and go to last shape frame let's move to up Okay, and chain scale like this and move right. Okay, let's select these chain frames, make easies. Let's say again. Okay, not bad. Let's select these chain frames, go to graph editor and make someone select these chain frames, make smooth graph. Select this line. Okay, let's see. Nice, I like it. So back to chain frames and in this time let's select this circle and press U. Okay, and let's go to here and make in chain frame. Go to last chain frame, change zero. Let's see. Nice. Select chain frames, go to graph editor, and make also smooth chain frames. Back to chain frame, select this first chain frame of the left here. Nice. So in this time, let's make windows. For this store, let's close this shape frame settings and go to shape layers. Let's create rectangle tool. First, let's create first door here. Clisation tool and change stroke width like this. Go to color. Select this eyedropper, select this color, click OK. And let's move to center. OK, let's open inside rectangle. Click this size icon, let's change size like this. OK, also we can move to right this here, OK. And let's change name to OK. And let's move right this layer. OK, let's go to here and first make this door animation. Let's make size G frame and move to here. And change size like this. OK, zero and move to right and change this size zero and select chain frames make easy let's see okay not bad and let's move right to shape frames okay let's move to left a little bit and select chain frames go to graph editor and Make smooth graph. Okay, back to shape frames and select this door. Let's link to phone layer. Okay, and here let's move to left. Move to left again. Let's see. Okay, not bad. 
So let's select this door layer, press U for C keyframes. And let's move to left this second keyframe. Okay. And move to left again. Okay, that's good. So in this time, let's go to again create rectangle tool, make one window here. Let's one here. Clisation tool and change name window. Okay, and let's make again someone in motion. But let's go to fill, change color to yellow. Also select this door and go to fill, select this yellow. Okay, let's use this yellow. And select window, use this yellow. Okay, so let's make animation also this window. Select this window, open rectangle 1, rectangle path 1. And select this size, click this icon. And let's make size keyframe, move to here, right. And change this 0. Okay, select keyframes, make easies. And let's link to phone layer. And select shape frames, go to graph editor, let's make smooth graph. Okay, back to shape frames and let's move to left. Okay, move to right a little bit. Again. Okay, nice. So, uh, let's make again a uh, window here. Let's go to pen tool and let's make one line here. Click session tool and move to right. Go to add, let's use trim pads. Open trim pads one and change end zero. Make shape frame and shape frame go to here. Change 100. Say shape frames make easy. And let's move to left, press U for C only active keyframes. And select these keyframes, go to graph editor and let's make smooth graph. Let's see. Okay, back to keyframes. And select the shape layer, change name line. And let's link to phone. Okay, in this time, let's move to left this line. And move to left this tree frame. Let's see. Nice. And let's select this window. And control D for duplicate. Let's move to up. Press S, change scale. Again, control D. Move to right. Okay, not bad. And Let's go to again here. No, let's select this window of three. Control D, move to up and change name board. Move to here and go to fill, change blue. And press U for C only chip frames. Go to last chip frame and change size like this. And let's move to center. Nice. And let's select windows, move to right for random animation. Let's see. Okay, nice dynamic animation. And let's go to text and right here, home. Click session tool, go to color, select white and change bold. Chain font size, move to center and 
go to window, open animation composer 3, open starter preset, and text animate characters. Let's use overshot animation. Let's click in, close window, move to right this text, close settings, and link to form. And move to right this text. Let's see. Okay, very nice. So, let's see full animation. Okay, not bad. Okay, that's good. So, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.